Hi, I just want to show you how my computer looks and works after installing Ubuntu. It's uh, Linux Ubuntu 10.10. Mm, uh, this desktop wall, what you see, is just uh, something you can add wallpaper. There are millions of wallpaper available online. You just you can just uh, add them. It you say uh, get more background online and just click select what you want. It gets applied there. It's like uh, that is one good thing it, uh, everything instantly applies and uh, all these uh, shortcuts uh, icons what you see on the desktop uh, were not there initially um, it was blank and then i went on adding see so these are the three main menus uh, the windows key does not give this main menu pop-up uh, the shortcut is uh, alt f1 um, then you have applications uh, some games are there ready made when you install this supercart i added i added from this software center uh, and graphics the gimp uh, this is i added one uh, all the these firefox is already there and uh, this is open office the equivalent of uh, that ms office this is word processor is equivalent of word and spreadsheet is nothing but excel all this powerpoint this one uh, it's compatible that is very interesting I will test them. Sound and videos. This is CD burner. Desktop recorded some uh, an add-on I which I got from this software center. Uh, I am using right now this desktop recorder to <coughs> uh, make this presentation. And we have this movie maker. Everything all this beautiful uh, video editor. Very advanced. Very useful. Um, okay, I'll first take you to the software center. Okay, here we have all the groups of uh, software we have. It's available it's about uh, 34,000 softwares available for free. Okay, so you can just uh, go to this and any group, and uh, or if you know the name, you can actually type it and get them. So GIMP image editor. GIMP is equivalent of Photoshop so it's already been added so there's a green tick mark coming it means it's already been added and if i just press remove it gets, it's, uh, gets uninstalled automatically uh, this is very simple i just want to see what you have installed if you click here you are looking at only those things which are installed and you can go on removing them and so it's very nice if you want to see what is there any internet browsers you can okay or you can go to the group and say internet see you're looking for some chat software MSN what is there okay okay that's about the software center okay and uh, okay it comes with four desktops you can see here uh, these uh, uh, they call it uh, workstations so it that is very useful feature in this ubuntu uh, this is a panel which i just compressed so let properties uh, this is how the typical panel looks i have made it a little transparent so we have four desktops uh, you can switch from one desktop to other desktop uh, one two three four and again back to first you can keep some applications open and then uh, instead of minimizing everything okay or closing you go to the next desktop but the control is always there on these shortcuts that is also very very useful saves time uh, that is nice so the shortcuts are pretty much same okay so yeah i can rename by just uh, uh, typing f2 it's the same the, this computer is nothing but my computer it's the same thing this is my uh, everywhere you just imagine this is like my document my music my picture is some same thing okay uh, uh, very interesting this is a uh, file structure backspace to go to the root it's pretty much same coming to the special effects which is not useful but okay makes it interesting this is called wobbly windows which i added when i close an application it's a burn effect 
I'll show you how I added that. It is there in System Preferences and Compis Config Setting Manager, which is an add-on which you have to get it from Software Center. Okay, you have to say. Uh, you can just say themes and tweaks and you can get those uh, effects uh, compies let's see this compies it's already been added so see it's okay and these uh, how, how i added the wobbly window i can actually see wobbly windows i can filter it okay here all see this is wobbly window which I have enabled 3D windows, which I enabled 3D windows is like when you move on to one desktop to other desktop, you can actually move with some 3D perspective visual effect. It's all the four uh, desktops are like uh, arranged in a cube fashion. Uh, not useful, but uh, it's very nice to see. Animation is there and this is what I have done in the close animation means what animation you need when uh, you close an application or a window I have added burn and you can actually uh, change the uh, duration of the burn the flame color flame size everything can be changed and, and uh, there are a lot of more uh, effects which I have not enabled everything okay and uh, I have enabled something called zoom um, for example, if I hold on the control button and scroll, it zooms. This happens even in Windows. Go to browser and you can actually zoom inside. But actually here, I can zoom the desktop itself. And I can set the shortcut key. I have set it as control shift and scroller. Even I can use only the keyboard. Control shift and plus button, minus button, it zooms. This is very interesting. All these... Uh, application sound uh, converter video converter everything I, which i downloaded are very nice easy and uh, uh, very useful um, and we have see this is called open office we have all that equivalent of uh, ms word ms excel uh, powerpoint everything and it is compatible i can show you right okay i'll plug in my pen drive and here it comes everything works all the drivers are already working and there's once you install it's working it just have, it takes a couple of uh, days to get used to and get the settings uh, uh, done uh, to suit your taste uh, and all that okay i have some document which is created in uh, uh, what is that in that word pad so it opens here it's compatible okay let me try opening the yeah it opened it took some time maybe because i am recording the desktop otherwise it instantly opens the uh, see this maximize double click to maximize everything same uh, but here because i have added this wobbly it will behave like jelly and uh, the excel sheet which was created in ms excel it's opens in this spreadsheet open of open of it's compatible so that's working okay okay this is uh, the pen drive which i have just plugged in which is coming here and i want to show you another thing uh, the file let me say downloads mp3 I, I just have to keep the pointer on this uh, music file and it plays the music it's the preview i'm wearing a headphone so you won't be able to hear it so it's there's a preview and another thing uh, uh, the music is being played okay and i can rename the file when the file is still being in use and even without the extension it still recognizes uh, what kind of file it is and it works it's uh, i can remove the mp3 extension i can remove the doc xls extension but it, the file works it doesn't matter if it has extension or not that is another difference and if i delete it uh, without confirmation it gets deleted uh, but i can get that back from the trash 
it goes to thrash the whatever recently uh, deleted will be on top i can say restore it comes back it's very user friendly and most useful is this four desktops that is the most useful stuff not this visual effect but you can get your work very organized keep one set of application in one window and uh, that is very 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 nice hope you enjoyed this video as ubuntu is very similar to win windows now this new version getting used to is not a problem everything is working fine bye